Hey there, how's it going? This is episode two of Who'd Win, the Whistlekick series where we explore fantasy fight matchups between some of history and media's most prominent figures. And today, on episode two, we're gonna talk about who'd win between Jackie Chan and Jet Li. If you wanna go back, you can check out episode one between Muhammad Ali and Bruce Lee. Got some great attention, and so that's why we're doing episode two. Constantly testing, constantly refining. Hopefully we make this episode better than the last one. So let's get into it. Who'd win between Jackie Chan and Jet Li? Well, first off, when we look at the, the battle of the tape, right, we're not seeing a lot of difference there. Jackie Chan, depending on when you're looking at him, somewhere between 145 and 160 pounds, Jet Li, pretty much smack in the middle, 150 pounds. Height-wise, got some different numbers for Jackie Chan. Anywhere from 5'7 to 5'9. Jet Li, a little bit smaller, 5'6 to 5'7. Of course, people shrink a little bit as they get older, and that's what we're seeing with these two gentlemen. They've been doing it for a very long time. Reach, we talked about Reach back on episode one. I didn't find any hard figures on Reach for the two of them because they're not pro fighters. So we could come up with uh, some numbers, some rough numbers based on their height. Uh, of course, Jackie Chan a little bit taller, a little bit heavier. So if we've got to give an advantage to anybody there, it's him. But it's not significant. It's not by enough that they'd be considered different weight classes or one would have a statistical advantage if we start looking at pro fighting like, like boxing or MMA. Style. Some difference, not a lot of difference. Both of them train in wushu. Jackie Chan's got some Hapkido, some karate, a bunch of other stuff in there. Jet Li, in addition to Wushu, has some Bagua. Now, strengths. Jackie Chan. What do we know him for? He's funny, but what else do we know him for? He does his own stunts. Requires a tremendous amount of physical resiliency. He's creative with the stunt choreography. He knows how to move his body in really interesting ways. And I would expect that would make him scrappy as we translate it out. Over on Jet Li's side, there's one thing that I was able to dig up I think we can put in the plus column. The fact that he was a martial artist first and a movie actor second. When we look at Jackie Chan, it's the opposite. He was first an actor who learned martial arts. Now you can decide whether or not that makes a difference, but since we're trying to dig deep on here, that's what we got for you. Now, one of the things we've got to mention, Jet Li, until very recently, he was quite ill. I don't think that we have to consider that too strongly when we're looking at this exchange because we're looking at matching these guys up at their best, not at any specific point in time because you can pick advantages and disadvantages there. But when we take the best version of Jet Jackie Chan and the best version of Jet Li, who's going to come out on top? What I do think we need to say about Jet Li's illness is the fact that he got very sick, which is not a plus in his column, but he got better, which kind of is. So maybe it's a wash, depends on how you look at it. Professional record, zeros across the board. Neither of these two gentlemen have ever engaged in any kind of professional fighting. Well, there has been some competition, especially on Jet Li's side, right? Known as a, a famed wushu competitor, not the same, and we're talking about forms. Expert opinion. I dug up almost nothing while plenty of keyboard warriors and chat rooms are talking about who they think would win. None of these people, from what I could dig up, have any personal ties to either gentleman, so we have to discount the opinion as we're digging through this. Remember, a whole bunch of opinion does not make something true. There is an age difference in there. Again, we're taking these guys at their best, so doesn't matter a lot, but let's throw it out there. Jackie Chan, born in 1954. 1954, and he's still doing it. Blows me away. Jet Li, born in 1963. One of the things we can think of, we can go back to the, the one time that they've really battled. Of course, it was on screen in the movie The Forbidden Kingdom. Excellent, excellent fight scene. One of my favorites of all time, and something that if you have not seen that film, it's worth checking out the film just for that fight scene. That's why I went and saw it. I would say that Jackie's aged better, which I think indicates better overall health, a better constitution. 
And from some things I've dig, dug up, Jet Li was far more dedicated to his martial arts training. So I think we got to put a checkbox over there. So when we put that all together, when we look at Jackie Chan at his very best, and Jet Li at his absolute best, at their strongest, their fittest, whatever it was, whatever we're, boxes we're checking, I think I got to give it to Jackie Chan. Not by a lot. Here's why. Here's where I'm coming out on this. I think Jackie Chan has more experience getting hurt because of his stunts. He's a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. I'm going to expect that because of some of the stunts he's done, like hanging from a helicopter without any kind of support, he's stronger. Jet Li, I would imagine, has more technical skill. He's a bit faster. But if you put those two together, one of the things that we know is that everything else being equal, strength will win. Now, we're talking strength versus speed, but we have no way to rank or to really score Jet Li's speed. It's entirely conjecture. I don't know what's going to happen there. So I've got to give this one to Jackie Chan by just a little bit. I want to know what you think. Drop your opinion in the comments below. Who's going to win? Who'd win? Jackie Chan or Jet Li? I'll see you back here for episode three. Thanks for watching.